Here's a book that's been flying a little bit under the radar, I think. I could be mistaken, but I uh, haven't really seen anybody talk about it. And I didn't see it on any of the best of lists. Uh, unfortunately, it's one of those books that I forgot to put on mine. But, um, well, what can I say? Um, it's, it came out last year. It's called Notes from a Quiet Life by Robert Benjamin. And um, it's uh, partly based on a uh, part of uh, an exhibition at the uh, Denver Art Museum. I'm just going to show you what this is. Let me skip this. Okay, so um, this is a book done by Radius Books. So show it at the Denver Art Museum. Robert, I met Robert. Robert is a Buddhist. That ex that's why there is the uh, Buddha statue. There's a poem that Robert wrote in 1978. This book is for Pamela. Okay, so this is what you get. So basically this is um, family photography. Robert photographed his family for many, many years with all kinds of different cameras. So the people in these pictures, uh, the uh, the children and the wife, and they look different because they age, of course. Um, yeah. What can I say? I mean, it's. Um, <clears throat> I think it's it's one of the best books done on, you know, portraying a family. Robert. Um, it's one of those people who has to buy and try each and every camera that ever comes out, which um, explains the variety of formats in the book. Not that it really matters, um, but you know, you might be surprised to find all these different formats, but you probably want to just ignore, ignore that. I saw some of these Polaroids, actually a lot of the photographs in person are really very stunning. But they look really nice in the book too. Now Robert is one of those people who doesn't necessarily believe in in the art world the way we believe in it, with galleries and showing his stuff and so this I think that show and this book is the first time that this work has actually been shown to a larger audience. I wanna say ever. That might or might not be true. But at least that's what I heard. So this is a lifetime of photographs, essentially. Of course, there are many more photographs than what's in the book. I've seen some of those. But when you make a book, you always have to make a selection. And this is a, a very good selection. This is a double exposure, of course, as you can see. Intentional. That's the image on the cover. I remember this. And some more Polaroids. A lot of people will not be able to make these kinds of books easily any longer. What with all the files now being digital, people don't have any more objects. All the photographs are on. Facebook or on computer hard drives. Uh, nobody ever deletes anything. I mean, how do you even deal with that? Um, what do you 
give your children? Are you going to give them a hard drive with pictures? Or are you going to log into your Facebook account? If Facebook still exists in 10 years, which it might or might not. Maybe it's been overtaken by that time by some other corporate behemoth. Who knows? So there's a lot to be said for the object in terms of you know what you actually have, how you can work with it, and then of course the object itself. I mean, if you've ever come across a bunch of old Polaroids, then you know that's a little different than clicking on some folder and seeing some images on the screen. There's this tactile experience. After all, we live in this real world, even though too often we're glued to the plastic screen. And this book might serve as a, as a reminder of what can be had and what some people might simply might not have. I don't know how many people get prints of their photographs. Anyway, you know, this is a charming photograph I don't want to take away from Robert's book, even though I have the feeling that he would wholeheartedly agree with my sentiment, having spoken with him quite a few times last late last year. Okay. So here's a little t essay at the end, just a really brief little thing, which is very charming. And then the list of plates with the years, uh, the acknowledgements, the colophon. Oh, it says 2012, so it, I guess officially it came out this year. I just saw an early copy last year, assuming that it was out already. So uh, it's going to be on all the best of lists this year then, including mine. Notes from a Quiet Life by Robert Benjamin.